life bars. Now life bars cannot be covered in one video. I know that it took a while to learn life bars. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. Down in the corner, or right here actually, because I put it right out front so I can watch it, but I can mount this anywhere I want, is my life bar. Now, earlier you had an assignment of making a level that you just jump around in, and it's a 2D side scroller. And after a while, that gets pretty freaking boring, if you ask me, because if you think about it, you know, you're just jumping around, and if you accidentally, like, not jump the correct way, you land, and then the game is over, and you have to start over from the beginning. Then you have to start thinking, well, that's boring, what else can I have? So, a life bar. So... In with a life bar comes something that is damaging you in some nature. Okay, so here's an example. See the box up in the upper left-hand side? When I move the pill, uh, the box will start shooting at me. Okay? And the aesthetics of the game is still, you know, real rough, but this is the thing that you got to concentrate on before you start getting into the aesthetics of things. If you don't... Uh, what you're going to do is get hung up on aesthetics and never get anything with gameplay. So, and he can miss because, you know, I put a factor in there that says, you know, he's not perfect. Cool. So that's just one example of like a cannon shooting it. Of course, now it's all downhill because once you get um, meshes that interact with you and then hurt you upon touch, that means you can also get the ability to uh, have any object touch you and damage you. All right, so now we're going to be looking at life bars. And this is just kind of like my introduction to what we're going to be looking at but and set up to. Uh, I want you to go download the first person shooter tutorial because we're going to be using a lot and editing a lot of the scripts involved in this one. So I'm a firm believer in not rewriting everything, but I want to show you exactly what things do. And I also want to show you that uh, there are certain scripts, like especially written for the first person shooter, that, you know, why would we write a script, you know, that handles so many things at once when we can write a script that handles a very finite thing um, and what the difference looks like when you do that. Okay. All right, so go download that, uh, get prepared, go get some coffee or whatever you drink, and then um, show back up into the next video.